Now that we've been through the chart of accounts section on QuickBooks Online, let's move into the banking section. Now there are two ways to add a bank account to QuickBooks Online. It's really down to your personal preference and what you want QuickBooks Online to be able to do with that bank account. I'm going to go through both ways with you in this video. So the first way is the more traditional way and that is to add the bank account as a nominal account manually and then to post payments to and payments from that bank account manually. If you've been in accounting for a while this is the way that you would have been using probably the start of your accounting career and most of your accounting career. The second way is connecting QuickBooks Online to your bank account through a feed and automating that process. And I'll go through that with you in a moment. So let's go through the more traditional way, the way I'm used to first. To add a bank account manually to QuickBooks Online, it's really easy. Just go to the chart of accounts, so accounting, chart of accounts. And then we're simply going to add a nominal account. That is a bank account. So the account type is going to be cash at bank. Our detail type is likely to be a current account. But if you have a savings account, a business savings account, you can have that. And there are other options also in this detail type. So let's add a current account. So let's say this is our Barclays business account. And in the description, you could put current account, you could put the account number, if you like, whatever is going to make sense to you. So we have our bank account, which is a current account, and it's Barclays business account. If I click save, that will now be added to QuickBooks Online. Here we go, Barclays business account. It's a cash at bank. There's nothing posted to the account yet. But now that this account has been added, it will show on the balance sheet, it will show on reports, but I can make payments to and from this account. Or not make payments to and from, but record payments to and from this account. And we can do the same with a savings account. So cash at bank, let's do a savings. Let's say this is a NatWest savings account. Once again, you could put in the account number or something, whatever is going to make sense to you in the description. Let's save and close that. And now we have our NatWest savings account just here. And once again, we can use this account to record payments to and from customers and also transfer, record transfers from one bank account to another. And I'll show you how to do that later on in this course. So if you're happy to have manual bank accounts on QuickBooks Online, that's how you do it. You just add it as a nominal account just like you would any other nominal account on the chart of accounts. Now, if you want to be a bit more modern in your approach and automate the banking side of things, then you need to go to the banking module on QuickBooks Online. And it's this first tab, the banking tab, that we're going to focus on. You simply have to follow the wizard. You click Connect Account, and you follow the wizard by filling in the details you select your bank account, enter more details. I can't do it because obviously I don't want to share my bank details on this video. But also this is like a demo QuickBooks account. I've got no interest in connecting my actual bank account to this demo, but it's quite straightforward. Just connect the account. What QuickBooks Online will then do is create a feed from QuickBooks Online to the bank account. And those transactions that are happening on the bank account will be downloaded to QuickBooks Online. In the next video, we will go through the rules that you need to create in order to have those transactions on QuickBooks Online that have been downloaded, posted to the right areas of QuickBooks Online. Because it's not as easy as just connecting a feed and then everything's automated. You need to tell QuickBooks Online through this rule section what those transactions are. Are they expenses? What expenses are they? Are they sales? Who was the sale amount paid from? Which customer was it paid from? So there are lots of rules you have to create to tell QuickBooks Online what to do with that data that it downloads. But that's how you 
add bank accounts to QuickBooks Online. If you want to do it all manually, you can go through the chart of accounts here, and that way you will manually record payments in and out of the bank account. If you do want to create a feed, you need to go through this banking section here and follow the wizard. Just click connect account and follow the guide, the wizard. It's pretty straightforward, but then the account will be added to QuickBooks Online and should start downloading those transactions for you.